Hey guys, welcome back. It is February 2nd and the snow has almost melted again. And we are back to work on the garden today, filling in this hole because I just got a delivery of soil in the driveway after trying to coordinate a soil delivery for months. Like I think I've been trying since October to get this soil delivered. So this is very exciting to have the soil. For those of you who are new, basically we shoveled a bunch of pea gravel out of this area that was on top of landscape fabric and it was too deep to be useful. And so now the plan is to fill this in with topsoil and then put more raised beds like this in this area. So you can see that I've already been dumping sod in from some other projects. So I've kind of spread them out to be underneath the finished level. And then I think I'll start at this corner to make sure that it's level with the existing lawn and kind of work my way that way. We do actually slope down quite a bit towards this neighbor's yard. So I don't want to have the soil level be too off between properties. I need to get the soil moving because I've got a second load apparently showing up in an hour or two. So here's the soil I dropped off. It's a nice mixture of sod and topsoil, and I think this will be perfect to fill in that hole. If you compare the size of this soil pile to the wood chip pile that I'm about a third of the way through, I would say we have about six yards here. Okay, let's just say that I'm glad that I skipped the gym yesterday. <laughs> and the uh, truck just showed up with a second load of soil. Let me go show you. And the second load was even a little more than the first. Uh, I think the second was more like eight or 10 yards. Yeah, I've got a lot of soil to move. I'm starting to think this might not be a one day job, <laughs> but I'm just taking it slow and taking breaks. And I don't want to have what happened to me with the gravel happen again with the soil where I uh, pull my injured shoulder again and have a few weeks where I can't do anything. So let's prevent that. <laughs> All right, took a bit of a lunch break, had a snack, had a bit of a cuddle with the puppy. And as much as he didn't want me to come back out here, we've got to keep going on this job. So the thing about free soil is that it's a lot harder to shovel than it looks because it has sod clumps in it. I don't know if you can see that, that's a pretty small one. Oh, there's a big one. 
So it has these big clumps of sod because it's from an excavation site where they're taking up lawn to put in a parking lot. And so it's just, it's harder to shovel than just a pile of soil.
and this is where we got to on day one of filling in the hole with soil. Okay, well, I'm pretty beat, so I think that's all I'm going to get done for today. I got about half of the soil moved, I would say. And uh, now the piles are small enough that I can put a tarp over them because it's supposed to rain tomorrow. Which is not ideal, but what can you do? Alright, the piles are all put to bed under their tarps, so that if it rains the night, it won't all get washed away. And then we get to do it all again tomorrow. Hey guys, good morning. So it's the next day, it's February 3rd. And oh my goodness, I am so tired from yesterday. I, I slept okay, I guess, but I had all these dreams of doing these like feats of physical endurance. Like I had a dream that I was running a marathon and then I woke up and I was super sore and my brain was like, oh yeah, obviously you're sore. It's because you ran a marathon. And I was like, wait, I didn't, I didn't run a marathon. I just moved a pile of soil. <laughs> Very different things. Uh, so yeah, I've had a slow start to my morning had some breakfast, which was leftovers from dinner, and some coffee. And then I've just been puttering around and avoiding moving the soil because I'm pretty sore and pretty tired. So we're gonna take it easy today and work a little bit slower than yesterday. We're still gonna get it done though. Um, the goal today, I think, is to get the remainder of that left-hand pile moved and that'll probably fill in the hole and then that side of the driveway will be free again. Also of note is that we have rain in the forecast so it'll be good to get as much as I can moved so that the soil starts to settle into that hole and we can make sure that it's actually at the level that it's supposed to be.
so right after I finished moving that soil pile, we got about four days of torrential rain. And now, as you can see, the sun has finally come back out and I can see that the soil has settled really well into this hole. Um, I left some piles that still need to be raked out. It started raining as I was moving the end of the soil, so that still needs to be done. But then I can get going on building those raised beds. But that is something for the next video. So I will see you next time. Bye.